I wish I could make reaction videos, but I was born in 1956. I've heard all these songs. What could I possibly react to? Hey whippersnappers, Brian here out of Boomer Reacts. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. I listen to rap and hip hop music using lyric videos, and then I let you know what I thought about them. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to be reacting to I Miss Him by Big Ed the Assassin. Uh, I'd never heard of Big Ed the Assassin uh, before uh, he was requested, so I'm going to read a little bio by him uh, just so I know who he is, uh, and then we'll get the reaction. Big Ed, a.k.a. Big Ed the Assassin, was born Edward Knight in Richmond, California in 1971. Oh, and he's, he died from lymphoma cancer in 2001. That's 30 years old. Wow. Oh, and uh, Richmond is like um, 20 minutes north of Oakland. He attended Eastern Washington University in Cheney, Washington on a basketball scholarship, but dropped out to pursue a career in rap music and moved back to Richmond. At the same time, Percy Miller, a.k.a. Master P, from New Orleans, had gotten a basketball scholarship to the University of Houston, but an ACL tear derailed his basketball career and he moved to the Bay Area to attend Merritt College in Oakland and study business administration. Master P noticed that none of the local record stores in Richmond carried any hip-hop, so with $10,000 that he received from a malpractice lawsuit, his grandfather had been given the wrong medication in the hospital and it killed him. Get more than $10,000 these days. Uh, so with the $10,000 he opened up No Limit Records. Business was good, and P met a lot of the locals who wanted to rap, including Big Ed, who lived on the same street. In 1990, Master P formed a group called True. That's capital T, capital R, capital U. Stands for the Real Untouchables. Uh, okay, he formed a group called True, containing family, Master P, his brothers C. Murder and Silk the Shocker, his wife, Sonia C., and friends from Richmond and New Orleans, Big Ed, King George, Fonzo, Callie G., Marcus Banks, Daniel Fry, Daria Kelly, E.A. Ski, Fonzo, Chili Pata, Milkman, and CMT. That's a lot. They released a four-song EP in 90 called The Mind of a Psychopath. Always the Entrepreneur, he started his own record label company in 91 called No Limit Records. Master P released his debut album, Get Away Clean, in 91, which included the four songs on True's EP. True released their debut album, Understanding the Criminal Mind, in 92. Besides releasing albums with True, Ed had guest spots on many of No Limit's other releases, such as Master P's 99 Ways to Die, Silk the Shocker's debut The Shocker, Mia X's Unladylike, Soldier Slim's Give to Me Raw, Sea Murder's Life or Death, and Max Shellshocked. In 95, Master P officially relo relocated No Limit to his birthplace of New Orleans and left his label roster behind, but retaining his brothers and several rappers like Big Ed, King George, and Callie G. P then added local talent to his roster, such as Mystical, Mia X, Kane and Abel, Skullduggery, and Mr. Servon. After the move, the members of True were reduced to Master P and his brothers, but including features by Big Ed on future True albums. Big Ed released his debut album, The Assassin, in 98 and peaked at number 16 on the Billboard 200. Oh, that's pretty high. I Miss Him was produced by Odell and features Odell, Mac, and Master P. Well, um, R.I.P. Big Ed. 
Let's give it a listen. I miss him. That is totally not what I was expecting. That's a that's an R and B song with rap in it, um, which is fine. And you know how I normally don't like uh, uh, male rap songs with a male doing like an R and B chorus. This didn't this didn't bug me as much because the whole song was R and B to me. The verses were R and R and B. I don't like it when the verses are you know tough uh, and then you know. 
Jodeci or someone starts, you know, crooning. Yeah, that I don't like. But this was okay because the whole song was was mellow. It didn't say anything in what I read about this, the woman who was singing with Odell here at the end. Does anybody know? Was it, uh, what's his wife? Sonia C? Master P's wife, anyway, I don't know. So if you know, let me know. Um, uh, as far as the song song goes, you know, it's just both of them, you know, uh, bemoaning the fact that, you know, uh, so many of their homies have died. Um, and then unfortunately, Big Ed dies too. Um, yeah, the, 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 the rapping was fine. It's hard for me to judge rapping when, they're, when they do it so slow. Um, you know, in general, like m more up-tempo beats. Um, uh, this is really not my cup of tea, but I can appreciate it for what it is, even though I'm not going to put it in my car. Uh, and that's just because I don't like slow, um, usually. Um, but, you know, both of, both of these guys did fine. Uh, uh, n neither one of them really, you know, like stuck out to me like... Uh, Wow, what a great flow. But like I said, it's a slow song. Maybe they have, or at least Big Head has faster songs where his flow is better. No telling. Um, so this song is great for what it is. Not my cup of tea. Um, but um, those of you who re requested this and love this, I'll allow it. <laughs> Um, well, thanks for hanging with me, guys. If you like this kind of content, give me a like and a subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.